guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna go ahead and break down paycheck number one for August 2020. That will be followed by my cash envelope stuffing, by my change jar, and my $1 challenge. Also, stay tuned till the very end of this video to get some info about an upcoming giveaway. So if that's your jam, stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm starting this angle pretty far so that you guys can see the change jar while I add my change and then while I do my dollar bill challenge. So let's see, change wise. I've accumulated a little bit of change, not too much, but enough, I think. That is it for the change. Okay, let me cover this puppy up. I still can't believe this isn't full yet. I mean, I think I've been doing this, what, for a year now? I think so, right? Comment below and let me know. I think it's been a year. I'm still not full. Oh my goodness. That is heavy. Here. And then let me do the dollar bill challenge really quick. I know that I had nothing left in groceries. Guess I have no ones and it's spending fund that I believe I had some ones in. I do. Okay, so that's three bucks that I'm contributing to this. And I'm not counting them per the majority of the requests that came through a few months ago. So that is not being counted. All right then. Let me go ahead and zoom this in so that you guys can see this and then I'll go ahead and break down and then we'll get to the cash envelope stuff then. I'm still gonna have to wash my hands after this, like big time. I sprayed them down with Lysol and everything, but still. <laughs> okay, I think this is a good enough angle. So August is all about pinching pennies, you guys, because I had to majorly, majorly change my budget. If you saw my August budget breakdown, my budget with me, where I talk about how I finally paid off my IRS and some other debt. If you haven't, check it out somewhere here. I'll go ahead and link it. But anyways, it majorly changed and it actually majorly changed from that as well. And that is because I am an unemployment and unemployment went back down to the regular max in California, which is 900 every two weeks, 1800 every month. As before, I was getting $4,200 a month, but I only got that for like, I think three or four of the payments because I didn't qualify until late June. So yeah, I think it was late June. So because of that, I'm making it work. I cut a lot from my you know, car maintenance, my emergency pet fund, my pet fund, wherever I could cut, I did. And I'm gonna have to make up the difference some way, somehow. Hopefully I'll make some money here on YouTube, but if not, uh, I am working with my sister again, so there will be a little bit of an income, but I can't really count it with this bi-weekly because that's on a weekly basis, and a big chunk of that money is gonna go to Aiden's school. So yeah, <laughs> so that's where I'm at. Okay, let's go ahead and begin. Most of you guys know the drill. So rent gets $3.59, water gets $15, CPS Energy, we're overestimating just in case because it was $2.58 this last time. So we're doing $1.26 each, so $63 bi-weekly. T-Mobile, it changed because I was able to pay off the tablet, Aiden's tablet and my cell phone. So now I'm to $98 a month, which is $49 bi-weekly. Then Grande, which is our Wi-Fi, is $17. Well, it's $16 but I do 34 so 17 bi-weekly subscriptions I do 15 every two weeks Affleck I do 28 every two weeks so just assume that all of these numbers are doubled by two weeks I don't have to say that and get repetitive and have you have a drinking game every time I said every two weeks <laughs> Thrive gets 10. Car payment, that one had to be drastically cut, but I wanted to put something in it as opposed to nothing at all. So I'm doing 25 every two weeks. Car gas, 25. Groceries and house is 30. Pets also went down majorly, so that's 30 every two weeks. Spending fund, I really need to up my spending fund, honestly, because I have been overspending, and in order to prevent that, I have to give myself a higher spending fund. I just can't afford to do it right now, so we're gonna have to figure something out. So that gets 50. Dr. Meds gets 50 as well. 
Couples Counseling gets 25. Mission Lane, which is a credit card, gets 17 from this paycheck and 18 from the next one. And the same goes for Wayfair. These two are being paid off by my husband and myself. And then Hospital Bill, that is 25 every two weeks. So let's get a total. And I believe the total that I had was 888. Now we have car maintenance. In car maintenance gets 25. IMD Pro gets nine. SAG dues get 25. Health insurance gets 34. Emergency pet fund gets 30. See how I majorly cut that? And then debt snowball, I don't have anything for it right now, but if there's any money left over, because I know I have $900 here, that will go to debt snowball. These were already transferred into my Ally account because these are all digital. So right now what we're filling in are the fixed expenses. So these are my sinking funds. We will come back to the debt snowball. And then these are my fixed expenses. And I will be right back with the cash envelope stuffing. Okay, and I am back. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with rent and rent gets 359. So that's one, two, three, fifty, five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-two, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine. Let's double check that. So that's one, two, three, fifty, five, six, seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine. 5859 and this already has part of its fund in here, so let's see what we're dealing with. There we go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So it has $1 over, so we're just gonna contribute that to the dollar challenge. So now it's fully funded at 718. Okay, then we have water and water gets 15. So that's 10, 15. And it has its other half. So now I'm at 10, 20, 5, 30. So $30, now it's fully funded. It feels really nice when I have cash envelopes fully funded and it's like the 11th of the month. That feels pretty awesome, let me tell you. Then electric gets 63. So that's 20, 40, 60, one, two, and three. So that's 20, 40, 60, one, two, and three. And then this has 50 in it. So that's 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 122, 23. So 123. Oh, it's almost fully funded. I'm missing $3. <laughs> that's nice too. Okay, then car insurance gets 38. So that's 20, 30, 5, 36, 37, 38. So that's 20, 30, 5, 36, 37, 38. And this was just paid out today. So it's empty. Then T-Mobile gets 49. So that's 20, 40, 5, 36, 47, 48, 49. 20, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. And that was paid out recently as well. So it's empty. $49. I'm hoping to convince my husband to join my plan because it would drastically go down. We would each pay $74 and then we would also get Netflix and Quibi for free. And right now Netflix is a service that we pay for. So that would save us an additional $16. But he's like, he loves Androids and he loves the, the idea of buying his phone in Best Buy because he believes he gets better deals there. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to convince him. So anyways. This is done. Then Wi Fi gets 17. So that's 10, 15, 16, 17. And that just got paid out as well. Then subscriptions gets 15. It's 10, 15. 
my watch keeps going off because my friends are texting and I mute it my phone or I put my phone on do not disturb but it's just like I just feel like I feel it buzzing like every few seconds it's what happens when you're on a group text okay Affleck gets 28 Thrive gets 10. This service has been a lifesaver because I don't have to pay every time that I take them to go see the doctor. They don't pay for their visit. They just pay for any medication, but they get a discount and any surgery or like actual like major medical exams that they need. So it just, it really, really helps. Car payment gets 25. Now I have two funds for the car payment. I have this one and then I have my fund on capital, which I can't show you now because I'm filming on my phone, but I'll try to show you, like I have two funds on capital, which is my hospital bill and my car payment. And it's just like a certain amount goes into those funds. So like I have like set it and forget it, like $1 into each account, set it and forget it, 5% of whatever money that comes into my checking account that's over $50. The 52 week rule, which is basically a dollar, the first week, a dollar the second week, a dollar the third week, and so on and so forth for 52 weeks. And then I also have it said that anytime that I hit 10,000 steps on my iPhone app, the one that monitors your steps, that it gets $10. Each, each fund gets $10. So that's how I'm able to save more money on top of what I'm already saving myself because they're just set to forget, you know, kind of thing. And it just makes it really, really easy and super easy to save. That's how I save my emergency fund, the $1,000, which I already have. And I've saved some more money for other things through that. My iPhone, that's how I was able to pay that off, stuff like that. Okay, so for this, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, fifty. So 700, 750, 60, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. So 783 is my total. Gas gets 25. And it already has another 25 because I just filled up with gas I think it was yesterday yeah the 10th which I have to file this receipt so let's add that to this so now it has 50 groceries and house gets 30 so that's 20 and 30 30 And pets gets 30 as well. So that's 20 and 30. My poor babies are just on the bare minimum. I feel like such a terrible mother. How are they gonna get their favorite treats, guys? Spending fun gets $50. So that's 20, 40, and 50. And this was emptied out so oh you know what I just realized I think I did for electric I did 20s instead of 50s yeah 63 so I'm gonna put get a 50 and a 10 and put this back because I feel I'm gonna be short on 20s just in case so 50 100 10 11 12 13 oh <laughs> and I was off on my math so there you go So it's 113. <laughs> Good thing I did that. Okay, medical copays gets 50. So that's 20, 40, and 50. And that has 20. So that's 20, 40, 60, 70. Then couples counseling gets 25. So that's 20 and 5. Oh, 
that's upside down, the sticker. And I actually like the sticker. I'm gonna try to do it as slowly as possible so I can save it. Ha ha, let's see. Yay, it worked, okay. And then credit cards, that's for Mission Lane and Wayfair, and that's 17 and 17, so that's 10, 15, 16, 17, and then 10, 15, 16, 17, and that's for both Wayfair and Mission Lane, so I'll know that. So that's 10, 20, 30, 1, 32, 33, 34, $34. So I'm just gonna put 17 and 17 separately. Okay, then hospital bill gets, oh my gosh, that's upside down too, you guys. What is going on? Uh, gets 25, so that's 20 and five, 25. it off of camera because it's crazy okay and then debt snowball because right now it's not really getting a lot although it will get from that weekly money that I get but I don't know how much it's gonna be because like I said $75 of whatever I make is gonna go towards Aiden's daycare so whatever I have left over is gonna be divided into some of my sinking funds just to add back some of the money into them and as well as debt snowball and possibly spending fund so right now spending fund is getting 10, 11, 12, and whatever I else accumulated. Now I am tempted to give these two, I will. I'll put 10 in my debt snowball and then just hopefully add more to it. So 10 in debt snowball, nothing in misc. Oh, let me do this now. So I'm just gonna shove these in there, guys. There okay, guys, so there you have it. These are my fixed expenses and slash some sinking funds because some are digital. My dollar challenge. And then you saw my change start. So that is it. I'll see you guys in a bit. And I'm back. So there you have it guys. That was my paycheck number one breakdown for August of 2020 and my cash envelope stuffing plus my change jar plus my $1 challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, there was some definite changes as y'all saw from my August budget breakdown if you saw it. If not, I linked it above earlier. Check it out. My numbers really, really had to change because my unemployment went down from $4,200 a month to $1,800 a month. I was only able to get those $4,200 for like three to four checks, I think, at most because I got it so late in the game, but I was still thankful for it, obviously. It gave me the ability to save up really quickly for certain things and to pay off certain things along with the savings that I already had, so that's how I was, you know, able to really attack that IRS like wholeheartedly and my iPhone and my tablet and just a couple of things that I just wanted to get of the way credit cards so super thankful for it but now I'm down to $1,800 a month plus the supplemental income that I will be getting for being my sister's caretaker now that normally gives us about like one I want to say 140 a week but what from that 140 a week I will be giving $75 a week to Aiden's fund for his daycare we are currently trying to get my sister into this program call the CCDC in San Antonio. But right now they have about, I think like a 12 month to 24 month wait, but we're hoping that they might be able to fast track it a little bit because not only is she disabled because of her, you know, mental health issues, but also because of her current disabilities due to Steven Johnson's TENS disease. So I did explain that to them when I was emailing them with them today, they need a letter from her doctor. So if that goes through and if they're able to fast track it, then we would pay like zero to fifty dollars per month for him so we're hoping we're really really hoping to get that because I don't know how feasible it is to keep paying what we're paying for it because it's you know anywhere it's 642 whenever it's a four week month or 810 when it's a five week month. So it's a lot of money and it's not money that my sister can really afford and really not money that any of us can really afford, but we're all putting our resources together because the little guy's thriving and actually update on that. I know some of you guys were asking me questions about what happened with the daycare. Everything was clarified. There was a little boy that was bullying him and biting him and pushing him and stuff, but they did have a conference with the parents of the little boy and it all ceased. So Aiden's back to loving school 
school, Aiden's back to enjoying it. He talks about his friends and what they do and he's learning. His vocabulary is like just grown exponentially. We're still working on the potty training, but you know, we'll see how that goes. So all of that, one of the things that we're just worried about is like, how do we continue to pay for his daycare? So right now, the short term solution is that I'm gonna be giving $75 a week from the money that I'm being paid in order to help my sister. And then I pocket $60 a week of that. And then that's how I'm gonna be able to supplement my income a little bit more because of that. And then my husband donates 50. And then I think my mom and my stepdad are donating between 100 to 125. And yeah, we're just trying to get it from wherever we can because it is a lot, but we just really don't want him to not be able to go. So I, that's what we're working on. So anyways, there's that. So that's what you saw. You saw my breakdown with those numbers. Didn't include the weekly stuff because I haven't started getting paid. I won't start getting paid till next week, I think. So once I start getting true numbers, then I'll let you know. And then I'll have to do a bi-weekly breakdown and then a weekly breakdown for that. So yeah. And then the other thing that I wanted to talk about was the new giveaway. I owed you a giveaway and the last one I wasn't able to do it because I was an 18th month planner and it started in July and I didn't want to give someone a planner with a month that had already you know started. So give me one sec. Here it is guys. So if you saw or actually will see my what I spent this week, my niece Alexis helped me pick this color. She picked the black double zip wristlet wallet. The one that I use, the one that I give away all the time, it's the A New Day wallet. So this is, it fits your envelopes or my envelopes great. I usually put three to four and it fits perfectly. So black wallet. And then you're gonna get from Recollections, it is the Michaels brand, the sticker book, the budgeting sticker book. I think you can see that right there. It comes with 1,436 pieces. So there's that. Then you will get the Recollections planner. There you go. And this one is undated. So you can start your month whenever you want, which I love because, you know, it's really hard. Like if it starts in July or it doesn't start till, you know, January or whatever. So budget planner that's undated. There we go. That. Then this will also include, like always, five cash envelopes with its trackers. So that's it guys, that's the giveaway for this month. So all you have to do in order to participate in this giveaway is like this video, comment below, subscribe or already be a subscriber and I will check. So if I'm like doing the random pick and I go to your channel and I don't see that you're following me, unfortunately you will not be considered, okay? So again, subscribe or be a subscriber and make sure that I can verify that you're a subscriber and uh, what else? I'm trying to think. Like, subscribe, comment, and I think that's it guys. Uh, that's it, that's all you gotta do. I mean, for extra bonus points, you can go and uh, like my Instagram, I'm at Elizabeth Durazo, or my budgeting one, which is Budgeting Actress on Instagram, both of them. And yeah, that's it, but that's just for extra bonus points. I'll check to see who did it, but um, you know, maybe we'll put you a little on top, because I know not everybody has Instagram, so I'm not gonna make it like, you have to do it, but you know, it might get you a little, you know, a second look if you do it. So that is it, you guys. That's all you have to do. Uh, so like this video, comment below, subscribe or already be a subscriber, and you will be entered to win this, and it will be announced in my next budgeting video because I am uploading videos for like Lizzie's weighty issues. I am doing like Liz style. I am doing Elizabeth, Liz, Lisa, Lizzie, which is basically like my version of Martha, Macy, May, Marley. Uh, if you haven't seen that movie, check it out. It's uh, really good. It's with Elizabeth Olsen. Love it. So yeah, so I'm posting videos for different things. So it's not gonna be from any of those. It will be my next budget video, which will probably be my what I spent this week because it's being edited right now, but this video might go up before that video. So yeah, just stay tuned and that is it. Okay, as always, if you have not subscribed yet, please do so now and then ring my bell so you can stay updated on everything that I have coming up and please like and comment. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.